right. We, cup, we have a couple of thousand listeners today that are interested about your story. See, Mr. Anton Laborte here is a is an entrepreneur who started up his own company at a very young age. Second year college? First year college? Second year. Second year college. Second year college. And the name of the company is IIPI or International yeah. Industry Partners. International Industry. And during that time at second year college, yeah. did you did you have any direction already in why you you know what's the reason why I picked that name? Well, uh, it was a very generic name, International Industry Partners. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know what I was gonna do. Yeah. But I was decided that I wanted to have my own company. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So yeah. one funny thing is when you register a company here, whether it's a sole proprietor or a corporation, you have annual juice, diba? Yes. So you had to just keep on paying it. Kahit wala pa, kahit di pa natin alam ko anong gagawin. Alright, so now, when you started this company, second year college, that was what, 2009, 2008? 2009. 2009. But it was incorporated 2010. 2010. Yeah. So, nag sole proprietor ka ba ba nun? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, what were the things that you did to, you know, keep the ball rolling? Since I didn't know what what uh, industry or what product or service I was gonna do, I was just always around our, our office, which is my my dad's office. Uh-huh. Nandun ako sa, sa conference table, yeah. looking for ideas, you yeah. know, and just uh, hearing out all the 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 business, our business, right. the process engineering business. Just learning the ropes. Just learning. So you were yeah. there as a spectator, yes. trying to study like how does business work? Yes. What were they doing? Yes. And so actually, interesting. No, because this time, pala na to, mm. This is what your this is a mentorship from your dad to you. Would you consider yes. it that way? Yes, I would. So you I asked him a lot yeah. of questions. Oh. Actually. My daddy, I didn't need to ask him a lot of questions. He would just always voice out his uh, ideas, uh-huh. his vision. Uh-huh. Uh, and from there, it really, uh, in a way, inspired me. So tell us about your dad. My dad's a uh, mechanical engineer mm-hmm. by profession. So he used to work for a bottling company, mm-hmm. Coca-Cola, uh, San Miguel. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, he was... Uh, He went into the bottling manufacture, uh-huh. which uh, he did the maintenance, the yeah. installation of the equipments at first, and yeah. then eventually he became sales. Uh-huh. He sold the equipments. So he was the country manager here in the Philippines uh-huh. for a certain uh, bottling, mana, uh, bottling equipments company. So from there, uh, our company was incorporated because uh, for the reason that They needed somebody to install the equipments locally. So, uh, how long was he doing this, though? Wow, I think over 30 years. Over 30 yeah, years. Over 30 wow. years. He started a company that does the installation, yeah. the servicing yeah. of these machines. Yes, correct. And so, tell us about how he came upon that opportunity. So, because during that time there was no local uh, local installer mm-hmm. or local uh, maintenance provider, yeah. so he thought about. Why don't I put up my own company? Yeah, that would do the servicing, the installation for the right for the equipments that I'm selling. Yeah, right. So and mahal, no? Like the, oh. I'm sure these equipments cost you know tens of millions oh, of yeah. pesos. No, not not just not just yeah. maybe hundreds. Grab it, mahal. Yeah, because this is this is a whole line of equipments that, for example, Pepsi Cola. Let's yeah. say from empty bottles. Yeah. It goes to the conveyors. It goes to the bottle washers. Yeah. Because, diba, kasi reusable yan. Yes. It goes to the fillers. Yeah. Diba, everything. The whole, right. the whole, the whole turnkey. So, when he started the company, how young was he then? He was, uh, kung let's say 30 years. He was probably 40 already. 40s, no? 40s. Na. And then, he started it, uh, but he was still working. Yeah. He okay. was, he was working for a European company or an American company. So uh-huh. in the morning he would be in the family business, uh-huh. and then late at night he would do the correspondence. Because balik tadi yung time zone, de ba? Yeah, Uh-oh. yeah. Grabe ang ang pagod uh-huh. nana, no? Yeah. <laughs> yung talay. Puno ng tulog. Kaya siya pagod, kasi may shifting. <laughs> yeah. This is ano no? Uh, just for context, why I asked that question? Yeah. Kasi during this entire time, but your dad was starting uh, the family business. Mm-hmm. 
you were in college, you started your own business. Yeah. And one interesting question that I'm sure our listeners would mm-hmm. be interested to know as well is, why didn't you go into the family business that your dad started? I don't know if you have the same uh, experience, uh, but my my dad used to. It's it's hard to work for your dad, and then in the house he's your dad, and then yeah. you go to the office he's your boss. Yeah. So it's, di ba? Parang mahirap for the relationship to yeah. be okay yep. that yep. way. <laughs> That's true. I know lots of other second generation yeah. would know this, yeah. you know, working for their parents. Well, just to share na rin, my dad naman, it wasn't about his temperament in the office. Mm. It was more of he, growing up, mm. what I would hear from him is, Sean, just look for another business or climb the corporate ladder kasi mahirap yung hardware. Yeah. Sabi nila pag Chinese ka, you're in one of two businesses mm-hmm. in the Philippines, textile or hardware. No. <laughs> Dad ko nasa hardware. <laughs> so, sabi niya, wag na kasi yung kita, super liit, mm. tax is big. Mm. And it's complicated if you're going to, you know, do everything the right way yeah. here in our country. So, that stamped into my mind eh, na, mm. okay, so if I'm not going to be helping out, and I'm the panganay. Mm. So, if I'm, not, if I'm not going to be helping out, Let's try corporate. So I did five months. Di ko <laughs> so, And at the same time, SEO hacker was starting na. So yeah. I asked for his blessing. Medyo nag-away pa mm-hmm. kami. Because he, he didn't understand what Hindi, I was no. doing. Eh. <laughs> niya, ano ba yan? Baka, you know. Medyo old school kasi. Siyempre, oh, hindi eh, na baka mag-fail. Na. Wala, pangat sa resume mo. Uh-huh. Five months lang. So, medyo nag-away pa kami. Nag-pray pa. Nag- pinag-pray namin, bro. Mm. Like, it, was, it, was a, it was a long period. It felt like a very long period for me before he allowed me to, he gave me his blessing to resign and then continue as SEO hacker. So, yun naman yung, yung sa akin. It wasn't because uh, I don't think we could get along in at work. It was because more of the business wasn't that, um, it wasn't thriving. Mm. Mm. So, parang for him, it didn't make sense for us siblings. All three of us work at SEO Hacker now. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, it um, doesn't make sense for for us to go into it. Pa. Right. Yeah. yeah. He, he told us to start it. Na lang. So, but in your case, you started in college. That's something that I I don't think I did or entered yeah. my mind. Um, kasi hindi ako nag-business course eh. 28 right. units bagsak ako sa IT. Uh. <laughs> so, di ko talaga alam eh. Pero that's very interesting. What gave you that mindset not to start business that early? But it was because of my dad again. Uh, he asked me this question actually. Even my siblings. He would always ask, so there's only two choices after you graduate college. Hmm. It's either you become an entrepreneur yeah. Or you become an you become an employee. Correct. So what do you want? Diba? You you've seen both. Yeah. Kasi he was he used to be an employee for yeah. for an international company and then he became his his own boss. Right. Diba? So yun, lagging questions ko yun in my mind when I was okay. still studying. And then at one point I was considering going corporate. Yeah. And then sabi ko parang hindi ko nga rin kaya. Oh, same, yeah. Same as you. Yeah. But I never had any uh, experience. So everything that I did was trial and error, right. basically. Or what I've seen from our family business. 